what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at backing up uh, to a network attached storage which is a NAS drive now in the previous video I'll show you how to back up uh, using file history in this one we're going to be uh, backing up the system to uh, the network attached storage so let's go ahead and show you how I'm going to set this up so first off we're going to come down to the search here and we're going to type backup inside here hit the uh, backup settings and this will open up the backup settings uh, window so what we want to do here is go along to where it says more options click on this one here and then we can see advanced settings inside here so click on this one now we're not going to be running uh, the file history here so we can leave this uh, disabled otherwise you're going to end up with uh, two lots of backups going so what we want to do is select our network location and uh, what we want to do is show all network locations this will then populate your network uh, locations on here which is our uh, NAS drive here so I'm going to choose to add a network location unless you're just happy to put it in one of these locations but I like to select my own uh, folder so we're going to go ahead and add a network location so I've got mine uh, selected here just called it win 10 dash backup you can call yours whatever you like and uh, once we've got that we can now click ok you can see it uh, selected here and we've got file history is off and if you want to do the file history you can turn it on but I'm now going to go down to where it says uh, system image backup click on this one here where it says setup backup and uh, from here you can see uh, we want to save to our network attached storage so we're going to click on here on save a network and this will open up our network selection location here which we can uh, type in this little box here you can also browse to it if you want to and uh, it will try to populate but sometimes this doesn't work very well so what I'm going to do is just uh, type in the uh, location here you will need to have the username and password for your uh, network attached storage okay here so let me go ahead and uh, get my IP address now inside your uh, network you can see uh, you've got your network attached storage here if you right click on this and go to properties this will give you the information for your network attached storage and you can see the IP address is here so you can uh, copy this if you want to or this one it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to copy that IP address go back to here so you can see I've got my details in here and I'm going to click OK here so this is the uh, username and password for your NAS drive and also the path that you want to uh, save to OK now click OK here and you can see now it's listed this up here and you can also see down the bottom here it's saying other people on the network might be able to access your backup you can get more information here about that all I need to do here now is go next and we can now choose what uh, do you want to back up and you can see by default it's selected uh, the let windows choose recommended and it's saying windows will back up data files saved in your libraries and uh, this is going to be all your uh, videos music and uh, stuff like that it's going to be backed up on the desktop and the default windows folders uh, windows will also create a system image of your computer so that's what that's basically a full a full setup here of uh, windows and uh, files if you just want to do some some folders a couple of folders then you, this is the option for you which it says uh, let me choose here and you can see here this will allow you to select certain libraries which is your music videos documents and stuff like that and uh, folders and whether you want to include a system image in the backup this will allow you to also do that as well so we'll just select this option for this uh, video because obviously I don't want to copy everything across click next and now you can see you get to choose whatever you want to do and of course you've got the drop down arrows here and you can remove whatever you like uh, from here and uh, 
it's just because this is a test video I'm just going to remove a lot of this stuff uh, just to make it a lot quicker and you can see here backup data for newly created users as well is selected on there now also you can see here we do have some other areas which we can tick I've removed those ticks and again also the computer allows you to back up windows and stuff like that from here as well uh, but I'm not going to be doing this one also you can see a tick is inside include a system image on drives EFI system partition recovery windows 10 and so and so there so it, it just depends on whether you want to do that so a system image is copied off the drives required on windows to run and you can restore from it so if you want to do that you can do uh, on there as well so I'm going to go next here and you can see now it's showing uh, what you are going to be backing up and because it's a, a just a, a quick tutorial I've just removed a lot of this stuff and now you get to set up your schedule and uh, you can do your schedule where you can run a backup on a schedule which is recommended how often you can see daily weekly monthly and you can also do it on certain days from Monday to Sunday and you can choose whatever time you want to uh, set this up and uh, you can set that up yourself and uh, basically once you click on save settings and run backup that will automatically uh, start to uh, do that for you and there you go it's now started that in uh, in process you can see backing up in progress here and uh, you can view the details by clicking on this and it will show you uh, creating a shadow copy and uh, all that sort of stuff there and you can see the network path location and everything is going across and it's all going uh, across there so it's going to go every Sunday at seven o'clock and to restore it says you can restore these files that were backed up on the current location and you can see here there is a little restore my files it's grayed out at the moment and the reason for that is because it's not backed up yet and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can back up your data to um, a NAS drive it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and it's a great way of keeping your data safe just in case you get hit by ransomware or malware or uh, the drive fails it gives you another way of backing up and, and, res and restoring your data on your computer so let me just quickly show you the, the path where that's going into and there you can see it's going into this path here and you can see this is all the data that's going across here there we go anyway that's pretty much it for this video if you're looking to take your video editing to the next level then check out Filmora video editing software which is made by iSkySoft.com uh, it's pretty affordable as you can see here the software is packed with loads of features that will give your videos that professional edited look check out the video description for more details I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you had a great uh, day. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.